What is the difference between a flying robot and a self-driving flying car? If you think about it, not a lot. It's just the scale that's different. One big difference is flying cars will travel much faster than small flying robots. And that simply means you have to have sensors that look further out. You have to have more elaborate three-dimensional models of the world that allow you to react to things quickly. And most importantly, the ability to perform calculations much faster and react to a wider range of environments. Now, I know it sounds like the Jetsons. It is the Jetsons. First, there's the mechanical challenge. If you look at the hardware that needs to be developed, it cannot be based on the drones that you see today. The drones that you see today operate with electric motors and usually use batteries like lithium polymer batteries. Well, those batteries don't have the energy density or the power density to drive robots that can carry you and I. So we have to think of an alternative fuel. And that fuel obviously is the fuel that is used by aircrafts. So someday we can foresee jet turbines, small jet turbines that propel robots into the air and then drive them forward. That's the mechanical solution. The autonomy solution is actually simpler than that for self-driving cars which operate on the road. I want you to imagine three-dimensional highways in the sky, highways that are delineated in information space using GPS coordinates using radio communication signal. You can imagine a crisscrossing of many, many highways across a city that allow you to get from point A to point B very efficiently. Self-driving cars that fly will communicate with each other and make sure there are no traffic congestions. Because they talk to each other and because they sense each other and because they can react at superhuman speeds, they'll be much safer than the cars you and I drive. Finally, it's a much, much better way of investing in our urban infrastructure. There's only so many roads you can build, and there's only so much infrastructure you can create around roads. So flying cars are not as far away as you think. The future is closer than you might imagine.